Hi all, Ryan here again from Xenon Fever Defense. Next up on our tech support series, I will be looking at how to connect your device to the online portal. By connecting your online portal, this will activate more features such as email notification and being able to view live temperature scans. So now that you're on your online platform, what you'll need to do if you haven't done is create an account. So select the join free button, you're going to enter in a username, a password, confirm that password and an email address. That email address is the email address that will receive the email notifications um, if a high temperature ever does present to your unit. But it can be changed in time if needed. Select the uh, agreement button and, and select join us. From there then we're going to go back to our website and input your username and password. When you've done that you're going to click sign in and you're going to move the, the, the arrow to the right hand side. As you can see that jigsaw puzzle is moving. The objective is to put it into the puzzle. Complete that puzzle. So from there what you'll want to do is add a device. So using the information that you've taken from the device, the device number and bind code, you're going to select device, you're going to add a device. And from there you're going to put in device ID, bind code, company name, which you will have set up uh, as you've started here, so you're going to add a company and you're going to add a department. So as you can see, you add a department, anything from staff, IT, uh, normally staff is the one we're going to go for, so staff. Okay. So you're going to select your staff, you're going to type in your, your, your device ID and your bind code that you've gotten from your device. Uh, and you can add a location as well. So location can be handy when it comes to, uh, if you have multiple devices, you'll be able to tell exactly where that device is um, if a high temperature does present to the unit. And again, that'll show up in the records. I'll show you that a little bit later on. So when that's done, you're gonna click binding uh, and, and that uh, device will be added to your system. To check if it is added to your system, you're gonna to go to device management. You're gonna select device management and your device will show here uh, online to your left hand side in green uh, and you'll have your device ID as, as, as so. You'll be able to see other things here, software version, when it's been registered uh, and location of the device. Okay, so from there, so from there you've, you've added your device uh, and your, your cloud platform is up and going. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me at ryank at feverdefense.com.